Well, hi there. Welcome to part two on this HMV gramophone. I uh, got some uh, very good information from a kind gentleman in England who was a, a, a subscriber of mine, giving me some uh, you know, very good information about it. It was called a uh, cabinet gramophone. That's what the, the phrase they used over there. And uh, I did a little bit of research, so to speak, if you want to call it that, <laughs> out of ignorance, checking with things on uh, eBay UK and uh, various sites in England, auction sites, various things. And uh, what seems to be, and again, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> subject to correction, this was a model 201 and it's in measurement almost identical in fact I think it is identical except for maybe the carving identical to a VV14 it's using Victrola patents I'm sure I'm sure I don't know I imagine because they were almost one and the same company I also discovered that there's a VV2 or excuse me a model 211 of this which was electric. But there was one thing that confused me and so again I'm, up to, I'm open to suggestions, correction, more information. There's also a Model 201 which is very res resembles a VV17 in that the sides are curved on both sides. And so, I don't know for sure what that is. There's also the VV, I call it the VV-17, the Model 201 that looks like the 17 was in this darker mahogany. There's also a 201 with the straight sides like this. It's a little lighter in mahogany. So I don't know. Again, I don't know. Now I'm going to show you uh, a nice communication that I got from the gentleman in England. And this old man's going to try to hold this camera S uh, still. <laughs> Let me get the strap out of the way. So that you might be able to freeze your video and read it. Very nice man. I suggest that you check out his channel, M-R-R-G-S-T-U-F-F. -F. He does some interesting work and interesting little experiments on sound equipment, Victrola, HMV, etc. Very nice man. He did give me some information, as you can read, if you choose to, about the motor. And here it is. Again, this old man is holding it as best I can. I think I'm doing all right. This is the motor taken apart and cleaned 95% of the way. And it is identical virtually to the Victrola four spring motor. But this, as the gentleman in England has informed me, was made in England. I'm sure using Victrola patents. And he did say you, you will find on the motor, and I indeed did find the number 34. If you read his information, you'll see this is a number 34, model 34 motor. And uh, it's in excellent shape. The only difference is, you will see, the governor weights are riveted. They're not screwed. There are a few things here I still have to clean and organize, but for the most part, 95% of it is pretty well done. The springs themselves in the, uh, that run the machine were a little on the weak side. But at the same time, before I took it apart and cleaned it, I, I cranked it up in, in the machine quite often, and it ran great. It just played and played and played and record upon record upon record. There was no problem. <coughs> Pardon me. 
And the springs in these spring barrels, at the bottom of, the, of each spring barrel, was like concrete. I've never, ever worked on a motor before with that much petrified concrete grease. It was original, original graphite, and the springs are original Victrola HMV springs. So, the next time we, we meet again, I think uh, this should be back together and we may play a few records. Let's see, back to the cabinet here. This has to be cleaned, and it will be, but it is in excellent shape. So, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you with some, uh, some information, and I certainly thank our kind gentleman in England for the information that he sent me. Have a good day.